Hi all, uh, this is Saif here. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to pick the data from a table and load the data into a table. So before uh, moving ahead, make sure your SQL Server database is up and running. So if you see my SQL Server database is up, Oracle database is up. And I have opened all the applications like designer, workflow manager and monitor. Also, I have given you mapping steps. <clears throat> also, the credentials which you would be using. So let's start to design the mapping and implement this. So what I need to do, I need to pick the data from here and load the data into this table. So as I told you, these are the steps which we would be following. So the first step is designer. In designer, make sure you are connected to the repository. Secondly, you are connected to the folder which is demo mappings. What is the first step? Import source definition. Where? Source analyzer. <clears throat> I am going to my source analyzer. Source import from database. Now, here you need to provide some credentials. Now, my source is a SQL server database. Okay. So, I have already given in this text file <clears throat> how to import your structure and target structures. Now, my source is SQL Server Database. So, these are the information which I need to enter. So, this is my ODBC name and these are my credentials. Let's try to fill in. So, I am just for ODBC, I am picking it from SQL Server. Can you see SQL Server over here? Now, SA, DBO, and welcome. <coughs> Sorry. What is my source table name? It is customer underscore source. So, my first step is done. Let's see what is my second step. Import target definition. Where? Target designer. Let's go source analyzer. The next to it, it's target designer. Click on it target import from database again go to the credentials text file which i have shared to you so my target database is oracle the schema name is abby star rapid santander and these are the credentials which i need to enter let's do that so it's already picked abby star from oracle now let's try to enter the username As soon as you do tab, it automatically pops up owner name. Now let's enter the password given over here and hit enter. What is my target table name? My target table name is customer underscore TGT. So my first two steps are done. Let's move on to the third step. Go to mapping designer. Drag source, then it will ask for a mapping name. And we need to provide a meaningful name. Let's do this mapping designer over here now let's expand this source drag your source this is asking for a mapping name m underscore so this is a table to table mapping i've already discussed with you why source qualifier is coming so the role of the source qualifier is to convert the native database data types to informatica understandable data types then what it is saying and drag target let's drag target as well let's expand this and I have dragged my target let's see what is the next step use transformation as per requirement now it's very early for you to use transformation so we would be doing from next week link so we will skip this step and do the next step link the ports from source to target so select anywhere, right click, select all. So while dragging, black arrow, first column name, place the cursor in between, drag it and while releasing also, place in between. So your all ports are connected properly. Save and check your mapping is valid or not. Let's go over here, do control S. And if you can see, my mapping is valid. You can copy. Okay, let we'll copy it later. Let's move on. Workflow manager. Let's go to workflow manager. Press W. Okay. Then what 
what it is telling us click on workflow designer and create a workflow so we need to follow a naming convention let's do this thing I'm clicking on workflow designer I'm creating a workflow from your create so the naming convention is W F so under workflow we have session and underscore session we have mapping so I need to copy the mapping name so go to the designer tool mapping edit do control C come to your workflow manager and do control V and say ok so the first step is done in workflow manager second step create a task that is session and the name should be s underscore mapping name let's so if you'll see besides to workflow there is a task you need to say create just press tab s underscore mapping name so mapping name we have already copied if you miss to copy so go again back to your designer mapping edit control C and come over here control B so we have done that let's see what it's saying associate mapping to your task that is session so what we need to do is we need to us this is my session I need to associate the mapping how I will associate the mapping for that what you will need to do is you just need to say create once you say create so this is the mapping which will get associated to this session let's say ok and say done just drag this over here let's see the next step and link session to workflow so let's do that step again task link just drag and drop so that step is done now the next step says double click on session go to mappings tab assign source and target connection name three things we need to do so double click on session go to mapping tabs let's expand for a good view now we need to assign the source and target connection name so my source is SQL server database from that there is a table so I've already given over here if you'll come a bit bottom see connections in workflow so for SQL server database we have Abbey stage rapid Santander how we will pick it let's see over here so click on source can you see this black arrow which is pointing bottom just click on that so if you'll see at the bottom there is SQL server so can you see Abbey stage rapid Santander just do a single click on that and say ok so you have assigned source connection name let's do similarly for target let's check what is target it is Abbey star rapid Santander let's do that so if you click over here my and my target database is Oracle so can you see this it's Oracle and it's highlighted properly Abbey star so let's say ok just minimize this and these are the few things which you need to do so just change target load type bulk to normal we are inserting the data so remove the check mark from update and delete and do a check mark on this property which means if there is any data in your target table it will truncate that data first and it will load the new data let's say ok we have done that step now it is saying save check your workflow is valid or not and run your workflow so when you will run your workflow we need to monitor the results in workflow monitor let's do control s my workflow is in valid state so click anywhere in this white space right click and you need to say start workflow come to your monitor tool see it is running state succeeded do a double click on this session do a double click so you will see the statistics minimize this and maximize source target statistics can you see from source 10 records have been read and it has been loaded so let's verify that in my target database table so my target database is Oracle and this is the table let's execute this query so I can see the data which has 10 records so this is the way you will read the data from one database table and load the data into a another database table a simple mapping so this is the these are the steps which you will be following and these are the credentials which you need to take care of if anything comes up 
please take a screenshot and post in the WhatsApp group which I have created. Surely once I get time, I'll try to revert it back. Thank you for watching and please practice. Thank you.